So I wonder what's behind this door. Well, I'm in the basement of a 1920s apartment downtown Baltimore. And let's see what we got in here. Well, some of you may recognize this. You former Navy types would like these flanges, I'm sure. The best I can figure is this. This is the gas inlet from the street. This is a bypass, which is normally off and chained and tagged by the utility for emergencies only. There's your pressure tap testing purging and so forth, and that is a turbine gas meter with the input dials there. There's the uh, electronic sender monitor. Welded pipe. And down she goes, and we have a Honeywell pressure switch, which is graduated in kilopascals and inches of water. Mercury. And then we got this thing. And what that is, I kind of think of it as a succalux. This infrastructure, the gas infrastructure, which was probably put in sometime around 1913 or something, was really designed to handle gas lighting. Um, now you're cooking with gas. And this boiler was originally fired with coal that this was hooked up to. Then they went to oil. Oil wore out its welcome. And now I've got gas but they haven't changed the uh, piping since since before World War I, or the Great War, where all those suckers and losers died. So, what's in here is a motor, and it's sealed in a explosion-resistant chamber. So when the boiler turns on, when the boiler's two million plus, it will turn this bad boy on and make certain that it gets enough pressure. Of course, the problem becomes every other apartment complex around here also has got one of these things in there. And what will happen is that the when it gets really cold and everybody's running everybody's running their furnace and boiler and so forth the pressure will drop and so that thing is supposed to turn this off once the pressure gets below I'm going to say about three inches maybe two and a half inches of water column and then the uh, boiler will probably shut down on, um, on flame failure so that's what this guy is there's your control circuit for it there. And that's the kind of... What, what this really means is that the um, utility really hasn't been keeping up with the infrastructure uh, upgrades. They, uh, as you know in your gas bill, you, uh, you have, it's broken down into a many, many components. The one component is the... Uh, commodity charge, that's for the actual stuff that's going, coming through that pipe there. And, uh, and the other charge is the distribution charge, and the distribution charge should be paying for the upkeep. Well, again, this, uh, this was designed for gaslighting, and everybody was firing with oil and coal until they weren't. And now we're kind of with, stuck with this. Um, you know, the electric electric grid and we know is antiquated but the uh, gas grid is uh, 
you know, hold my beer. Next to the pressure, these are all the ratings on these things. Looks like it was put in in 95. There's your inspection certificates and so forth because uh, I've been reliably informed that the last known wooden gas main in Baltimore was removed in uh, 1986 and it was installed in 1868 <laughs> so uh, they got a they're they're playing catch up with the uh, utility uh, I thank you very much or you got any questions, concerns, comments, um, leave it down below. And again, I thank you for your support, and I hope you find this halfway interesting.